hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today i hope you are all having a good day or night wherever you are welcome back to another cash stuffing video today i'm going to be checking in for the third time in the month of march uh yes so i am so excited for this month to be over because this next month is my birthday month and i'm super excited for that and yes so i'm going to be checking in for the last what for the third week of march and i'm going to restock my mini envelopes so but before i go into that if you are new here welcome thank you for stopping by i really appreciate your presence here thank you so much for clicking and watching this video if you love what you see please consider subscribing and join this family i would love to have you here if you are returning thank you so much for coming back please excuse my nail i broke it I, I was trying to grow it and I chipped it today at work so please just don't just ignore that nail so yeah let's dive right into this check-in guys and I'm also going to be um, doing a couple savings challenges today the ones that I do weekly so here is my monthly spread and I'm gonna be checking in from the 18th all through uh, all through the 24th which is today so i typically go to i go grocery shopping on fridays my week starts from friday so i always check in from thursday through the next thursday if that makes sense so yeah so on the 18th i went to um i worked from home last friday so i didn't actually so i was able to go to the store earlier and I went to Walmart and Winko, and then we stopped by McDonald's because I took my kids with me. So on Saturday, I put some gas in my car. I spent $15. Then Sunday was a no spend. I didn't spend any money. Monday, I went to I went to CVS. Tuesday, I went to Walgreens. Walmart, I had to go back to Walmart on Thursday. On Wednesday, that was yesterday because we ran out of milk and cereal, I think. So I spent eleven dollars and ten cents. And today is a no spend. I did not go to the store, so I only have two no spend this week. But I think I'm close to my goal. My goal for this month is fourteen no spend days, and I already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen no spends. Hmm. We are getting close to our goal. I think I will reach it by next week. So that is that about my weekly, my monthly spread. So let's go to my weekly check-in page and show you what happened. So yeah, groceries. My budget was two hundred dollars. I spent a hundred and eighty-one dollars, and I have nineteen dollars left over. Gas. I spent fifteen. I have five left. I intentionally did not put all twenty dollars in there. Because I want to have some leftover. But I'm so lucky that my gas took me up to today. So tomorrow I'll see if I need to put some gas in there. So couponing, I spent it all. I actually had to get some more money from my personal binder because I ran out of cash. Eating out, I spent 24 We have one left. Miscellaneous, we spent 5 We have $5 left. And yeah. This is a very, a very busy week for me because we just finished running our main payroll and my payroll weeks are always very busy. So yeah, I'm super tired right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unstuff my mini wallet. So here is my Motorm wallet. And uh, let's see how much we have in here. This is supposed to be $19 left over from groceries and I have 10, 15, 16. 17 18 19 dollars which is correct um gas five dollars in and out one lonely dollar and then miscellaneous should be five dollars let's see oh my goodness i hate it when these bills are all over the place and sometimes when I'm rushing in the store, I just don't put them back the right way. So now one, two, three, four, five. That's complete. So all together, let's see how much we have left. This does not look like a lot to me. <laughs> like 
anyways things are way more expensive than before so yeah i understand so i have 10 oh. i thought i fixed this yes i didn't so now 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 dollars and I am putting all these $30 into, into my seven challenges today. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be putting anything away in my leftover envelope today. Which is fine because I'm trying to finish my birthday savings challenge by the end of April. Yeah, I don't want to keep it longer. So I'm going to be doing one of those. I'm going to be doing the challenges, the savings challenge for my birthday when I do my weekly check. So I can finish by the end of April. That's the plan. So I don't really mind not putting this in my leftover envelope so right now i'm going to put my change away this thing is getting super it's getting really really heavy and i don't know <laughs> i don't know if we're going to have to change this out before the end of this year we'll see right now we have 51 dollars and 71 cent i'm gonna go ahead and empty this change and i have quite a few change this week that's amazing and i have some quarters so yeah so i'm gonna put this in here real quick so right now i have 56 dollars and 14 cents looks like we put about five dollars in there today so so I'm going to go ahead and join. I'm going to combine all this leftover money with the money that I'm stuffing today. And yeah. So now together we are going to be stuffing 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 350, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I am stuffing a total of 355 today. And I do not feel like bringing my cash tree out today. Yeah, I'm going to put this money out here and get this view out of the way. I'm so tired and I just need to get this done and get it over with because yeah tomorrow is friday we need to go grocery shopping so, now that everything is out in front of me i am going to go ahead and restuff my motor wallet for my new week starting tomorrow so groceries is getting this 200 dollars as usual yeah 200 dollars has been enough for us i thought we were going to need more than this so I probably don't need to bring my groceries up anymore. Yeah, since we, I worked with $200 and we were fine this month, so I will do the same next month. Because I increased it last month by $50. But it's working, so I'm going to go back to what it was. Gas will be getting 20 Gas is what I need to bring up. As well as couponing, I want to bring couponing up too because I'm not twenty dollars is not get it's not enough for me because I'm trying to build my stockpile back up. So I'm, I didn't have a lot of points and rewards to burn my transactions. So I'm having to spend more money to get more rewards back. So yeah. So couponing, we'll be getting twenty this week. And if I need to, I will get some more from my personal binder, but I'm, I may not have to. Eating out will get its usual $25. And then, last but not the least of my mini envelopes, it's miscellaneous and it's getting 10. And to get some zip, zip lock bags this weekend. So that is that for my modern wallet and I'm gonna go ahead and do these two savings challenges the first one is my monthly challenge which looks like this 
this is available in my shops if you are interested i will link my shops in the description for you so i'm gonna go ahead and call this in real quick so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put 20 dollars in here each of these leaves um it's what twenty dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and put twenty dollars in here and i'll just use these two tens so now i have 100 200 and these two are in no, this one is in the bank this is real so i have 200 dollars from january and february so for for the month of march i have 20 40 60 70 80 this monthly challenge comes in a bun, in a pack of 12, but every month I've been putting only one out for the month in my shop. So in case you are interested, just that month or you want to buy the old bundle of 12 months, it's available in my shop. Yeah. Next, I'm going to go to my birthday challenge. Like I said, I'm trying to finish this by the end of April. Yeah, so I can use the money for what I need them for. So because we have a pattern going on here, I'm going to use purple for today. So there you go. So I'm going to put $25 into this challenge. And here's my birthday challenge. Also available in my shop my shops i have two shops in case you don't know and i'm going to link both of them in the description and i really appreciate everybody that has been buying stuff out of my shops i really thank you guys i appreciate you so much god bless you so now in birthday i have 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 70 80 90 400 i'm super duper close the goal in this challenge is 500 so i'm like 100 to my goal 100 dollars so yeah that is my birthday challenge and the last but not the least of this challenge that i'm going to be doing today is the 300 dollars spring savings challenge from budget with brands I think I forgot to link our shop in the description last week. I hope I don't forget this time. Yeah, this challenge runs for two months, and by the end of April, I should save a total of $300. This is week four for me, so I'm gonna put $30 into this challenge, and I should have $120. So everything I have left here should be $30. Yes. If it's not $30, then there's trouble. I think I messed up somewhere. So the uh, Budget with Brains challenge is supposed to be $30 for today, for this week. So I should have $30 left in here. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah. So now I'm gonna add $30 to balance balance and i should have 120 dollars in this challenge when i finish this i'm going to put this into my sinking funds so now we have 50 70 80 90 100 105 110 111 112 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 yes we have 120 so far and this is the fourth week so we have um, six more weeks to go for this challenge and sometimes if I have more money I will do more than one week at a time so yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed don't forget to do so before you leave today and I would love to see you in my next video bye bye